Now this is an example of how extrusive igneous rocks are created. Now if you take a look at the video, you have lava coming out and going directly into the water. Now as soon as the lava is touching the water, it is immediately beginning to cool. There's not much crystallization that's occurring. Now the type of rock that's going to be made from this is usually going to be pumice. And if you remember what pumice is, it was that rock that has a very low density, less than 1.0 grams per centimeter cubed, and it actually floats on the water. Now if you take a look at the video, you see at the very bottom of the screen, you see steam. As soon as that rock hits the water, or as soon as that molten rock hits the water, that steam begins to, the water begins to sizzle and the steam is being released. Now that steam is, is basically a gas, it's water vapor. So it's cutting through the rock that's being formed, making little air pockets and air channels so that air can basically be captured inside of it, making the rock have a low density.